I don't. I don't. I don't even need headphones. It's just a tempest ground. Oh, okay. Sorry. Wow. The P10 isn't as big as I thought it would be on the ground. It's tiny. There she is, Siren 77. I feared this would happen, but it's for a good cause. And uh, thank God I saw the last ever recording of it, and um, we were gonna change it like that, and we were probably gonna do like a Lincoln or something, but change it to here, and I'm glad we did. There it is down there. It had a rotator fault, so. And a uh, broken intake, so it died, unfortunately. But here we are with ANS Services, and um, there they are up there with the Tempest. And we're gonna check them out here for maintenance. Is that a bird's nest? Why does that look like a bird's nest? That's strange. So we missed everything almost, except we got here and the Tempest was like right there. And um, yeah, unfortunately we missed the P10 removal, but still we got out here. They're gonna growl it in just a minute and you're gonna see that. And this is going to be one of my best videos of the year. Is, uh, this does not happen regularly. Or, I can't speak, but... Yeah, this doesn't happen every day. Is that Scribe? Scribe Electric is here. That's strange. So they're going to be sitting up there and wiring it for a minute, and then they're going to growl it, and then, guys, I'm pretty sure we're going to, I'm going to cut the camera, then we're going to go talk to the guys, then we are going to head up to the P10, if possible, and uh, we'll take a closer look at that, and maybe even get to take it apart. I'm not getting any of the, any of the penetrator, but I wish I was. Mm -hmm. What? What? Yeah, they took off the panel. The, the, the blue one's like circuits and stuff. There's no battery in the penetrator. Yeah, that's the radio for the compart system. No, I know, I know. And they are smaller than people make them seem up close, the P10s. I'm assuming the number of replacements is going to increase over the years. This is the third this year? That's... Yeah. Third. Special thanks to the people recording it. That um, yes, it's unfortunate, but they made this possible, thankfully. Because yes, it's a siren, and it's unfortunate to see it go. But we'd much rather have people stay safe instead of having the siren not work. Except we also have phones, but. No, no I tried it before. It might even be inactive. Not sure. <laughs> There's like four. Yeah, it's pole mounted, but when it's inactive, sometimes they don't have the budget to remove it. So sorry about that, guys. I was talking to somebody else that came along. Oh, that's the truck going up. 
Sorry if I'm out of frame and like shaking the camera a lot. I, I left my tripod in my dad's car and I took my friend's dad's car over, so yeah. That's that, so I'm holding it manually. Man, is this something you cannot see every day? Hopefully, I, I will probably get to witness this again, but. Yeah. Yeah, people knew about it once I brought it. I mentioned it, and then one of the Ghanaian workers brought me up and showed the channel. So now I'm like a thing around Ghanaian, and so is the other people that recorded it, and then May. But. I sent one of the workers the video, and they scheduled an inspection, and now the replacement. Oh, I should spin back, because. I don't want to be, I don't want to mess them up somehow. So P10. Third one this year, that's crazy. Normally one or maybe, it's rare to see two, but this is the third one gone this year. Oh, here comes ANS. Done. Seems chill. So, does the new siren come on the trailer? The little trailer that the B10's on right now? Yeah. The white pocket truck in the back is probably the uh, ANS truck that came from New Jersey. Yeah, the other ones are Scriba, it says. So Scriba is the electrical contract we bring in to actually hook the wiring up and do all the connections. I see. And Clark Rigging is who does the crane. Yeah. So I if we, once they get this up there and they're kind of done doing what they're doing, they're going to grab it. They're able to walk around the car. The bike is probably sitting in that truck. Yeah. Yeah, the other one. Yeah, he was in that when I saw him in Webster maintaining another siren. That's probably like a, about a 300 pound siren, as somebody said. If not more, because the... It's just a wood bowl, I mean, it naturally bends, which is actually what you need to do. So the bending is good, if it's rigid, that means it's just going to snap off. Yeah. This one, this is insane. I can't believe this. It wouldn't be that big of a deal, but I'm the one. <laughs> it's because I said something about it, and now this happened. So would you take a look at that? That's a penetrator right there. Down there, and then T128, right in now. I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, I'm just saying random stuff. Because this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this, so yeah, it's intense. <sighs> Gotta say bye to that pizza, and it's getting scrapped. I don't know. I have no clue what that is. The other pole over there. That's probably the radio antennas for the uh, fire station. Fire pagers. station for like the, uh, when they tone out. Yeah, the pagers. Yeah, at first I thought they remounted the other siren to that one, the tiny one, but I guess not. Working my camera. I bring my camera because I don't want this to be a trashy video because this is not something you see every day. What are you doing, you guys? I can't tell what you're doing. <laughs> now, what are they?
they picking up? What are you doing? <laughs> it's funny. Alright. Antenna, that's what they're doing. Oh, that must be terrifying. He's looking down at a bucket truck. No, never. No, can't do it. I don't know how these guys do that. Sorry, can't do it. An emergency siren installation is now occurring. That doesn't look like with that drooping wire. Are they just gonna leave that there? I've never witnessed this. So. And as I already said a bunch of times, I'm probably repeating myself a bunch because this is the most exciting Guinea activity ever. Goofy penetrator over there. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you shouldn't have broke a rotator in front of me. Say, so, yeah, that's your fault. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but Rest in it. Everybody must spam the comments with RIP Siren 77. I think that little pole back there is getting lifted now. Yeah, that's what's going on. Oh, wait, that's the wiring. I thought it was the antenna. It's the wiring for it now it goes down the pole. See? Yeah. That's crazy, there's trucks everywhere, there's a bunch of stuff in the sky, everything. Everything a siren enthusiast could want. I feel like I should be more excited about that B10 over there, but I'm not. I'm just excited to be here. Like, some people are like, I, I should get that P10. It's not going home with anybody. I mean, it's going home with ANS, but that's another story. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. I, I do want it, but it's not possible. We don't have a, we don't have a vehicle to take it either. So, it's just gonna die, of course. Of course, why wouldn't it? Of course. Uh, why do I have a feeling it's gonna do a growl test and I'm like not paying attention? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna wire it and then they're probably gonna have the bucket guy come down and come do it. Yeah, they have it. Yeah. I'm a guess I'm guessing it's another like twenty five minutes of wiring maybe. I'm just alright guys, I'm gonna actually because I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch 25 minutes of wiring. Because it's going to be like 25 minutes. I'm going to... What? Are you recording? I'm, no, I'm recording. What? Alright guys, I'm actually gonna cut the video now because um I 
as I said, uh, I don't think you guys want to watch 25 minutes of wiring, and I only have 27 minutes of recording space on my phone, so it's already been 15, so I'll see you guys in a minute, I guess, or in like 30 minutes. Alright guys, I can't tell, they're putting all the equipment away, but I don't know if they're done or not. Ah, uh, they're gonna growl. So it's been about 20 real life minutes since I last recorded. And um Yeah, that's Mike. He's over there. Yeah. He knows it, it's funny, that's hilarious. That guy waved at me. The maintenance guy, he waved at me because he knows who I am. Because what I've what I've done for the company has made them waste and spend thirty. I said what I've done for the company is I spent thirty thousand dollars on this Cyrig. Cyrig. I don't care. I'd, I'd rather see it on the ground. I mean... Well, I think they wouldn't even have known. Well, it's... I'm glad we found something wrong with it. There was something wrong with it. What? What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? Like, eventually, the, the chain could fall and it's not rotating. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh. oh. oh I feel so bad. Well, I don't. <laughs> they didn't. They just don't care. They got used to it. Well, yeah, because that goes off. The three T twenty two. Yeah. What's up, bros? I, I don't know. It just doesn't do moon blast. Watch it just go off. What are we talking? Watch it go off. Watch it go off. Never mind. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, imagine if it went off while we're watching it. I need my ear protection. Where? Oh, the truck's leaving. Yeah, the, cr the crane is leaving. They're, they're done. Almost done. I don't know that. I don't know what, but I don't know what's going. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. So. Yeah. I, I don't, I know. Oh, uh, what are they doing? What you doing, bro? Bro! Bro, what you doing? Oh, God. Oh. I'm just a scaredy cat, to be honest. Just being a fair. I want to go to the pizza. Why does he get to go to the pizza? Just kidding. We'll go up to it later. So now they're strangling the P-10, being kidnapped now. Great. They're gonna growl to us that in just a moment. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, guys, I don't have much time on my recording thing left, so I'm gonna pause the camera again. And there goes the crane. We can come. I wish I had ear protection. They're growl testing the siren now, guys. It's not going to be loud, I'm just overreacting. No, they got a while, they got a ways to go. Oh. No, they got to like terminate, they got to cook power. Do you guys want to see this though? Yes. yes. We do. So, so guys. This is. Come over here and I'll get some pictures. All right. I've never been, I can all. All right guys, here's the penetrator I was talking about. I can't. Wait, I think, I, oh, there's, there's a silver defense. Yeah. Now that's an ACA sticker. You've done good. I'm sorry you had to end up this way. It's insane. Hold on. This is going to be my profile picture in a minute, except there's a tripod in my way now, so I can't. Yep, I reported the faults in May when, um, 
I, I noticed the rotator wasn't. It, yeah. like, it stopped when it got to right about facing that Come way. Here, you can see it. Yeah. See how it's not connected right there? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Just... Well, I've actually never knew where the chopper was. And you can see the chopper on the inside. Yeah, those are massive. Wow. All right, you guys good? Yeah, I think so. Wait, I'm going to come get a photo right over yeah, here. I too. Never... I back my truck up here uh, they haven't growled it yet, but that's completely fine. I'll try and record the growl. I might do it when I'm not aware. And uh, if I don't, it's fine because we might record it next week Wait, for the growl are test. You in? Growl test time. Almost. Well, maybe. More like alert time. I'm gonna head over here real quick. So guys, it's been over a what an hour of wiring and stuff, but what? What? I know. I'm talking. Sorry, it's a person. With um, it's been over an hour of wiring. Now the siren is finally hooked up and ready. I'm gonna get one more look at the penetrator. You've done, you've done good. Anyway, I'll cut to when we growl, or when he growls, and I'll see you in like a couple seconds. Might be it. Nope, not yet. Here we go. Ninety percent sure this is it because he's turning everything on. Is this it? Come on. It just rotated. Wait, really? Yes. Okay. What? I think it just rotated. It did. Oh, it did? Yes, you missed it. Dang it. Here it goes. Oh, you scared the heck out of me. Stay here. I'm gonna run over to my recording spot. When I mean my recording spot, I mean, I just, I don't want to be right next to it because I hate loud noises when I don't know when they're happening. And this kind of falls into that category because no clue when he is blasting it. Any second now. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, Tempest. I swear to God. Where's the growl test? I was ever test. After this, I'm ending the video, by the way. What? I know. I want to take a video of it. It's rotating. It's not sounding. Come on. Okay, it's facing towards me. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> that is cool. Okay. 36 more seconds. Okay, that was literally a rotational test. <laughs> so guys, unfortunately one of the buttons broke. But instead, I should be acquiring the box for the old penetrator. Alright guys, so unfortunately, as I just said, the T128 has malfunctioned and the button broke. So instead, in return, they're like, fine, we'll give you the control panel for the old P10. So, 
still work and I'll see you guys in the next video and I'm glad you enjoyed. Goodbye.